Carbonic maceration is a form of uh, fermentation. It's different from your standard fermentation, which is yeast fermenting sugar and grape juice, and the fact that it happens intercellular, inside the grape. We bring the grapes in, we leave them whole, we dump them in by gravity into a tank. They remain largely intact inside a tank. We seal the tank as the weight of those grapes kind of crushes. There is some juice that is released and that is in the bottom of the tank. The modern way in Beaujolais or in the Loire Valley is to pump in CO2 gas. What we do is a very old school method where we're actually taking like a pied de cuve of some fermenting grape juice and we're pumping that into the bottom of the tank. It starts to meld with the fresh juice in the bottom from that tank. That fermentation creates heat. The heat is very good for the intracellular fermentation that's taking place inside the berry. It's also creating a lot of carbon dioxide naturally and all that carbon dioxide is filling the tank and pushing the oxygen out. It needs to be an oxygen-free environment in order for intracellular fermentation to take place successfully. The presence of oxygen can really create a lot of bad issues in any form of winemaking for the most part, but particularly with carbonic maceration. We typically give the wine six to eight days, depending on the temperature and how big the tank is and how things are tasting. Essentially, once the tank is filled and it is without any oxygen and we have that process going for seven days, then that juice is pulled out, we open the tank, we shovel out the whole berries, we press that. The wines tend to be a little lighter, a bit more fresh, and that's what we're looking for.